Hi everyone, with Calvin here. So we just finished weekly contest 149. So let's discuss about the second question. Number of dice roll with target sum. So we are given D number of dice with each dice have F number of face. And we being asked the number of way possible to form a target. So um, let's say um, we want to target six by two dice of face six, right? So there are six ways to form it, like one six, six one, two five, five two, three four, and four three. So another example here, um, we have one dice, and with six face, and we want to target three, right? So there is only one way to do it. That one dice, we throw it and we target a number of three. So it's one, and target of ten with face of uh, two dice with five face, and there is only one way to do it. Um, both dice need to be uh, five, right? And example number five is a very big number. So thirty dice with thirty face, and then our target is five hundred. So yeah, we need to modulo it by ten power nine plus seven. So how are we going to solve this problem? Um, first, we need to know the base problem, like the base case. So we have one dice with number of face and target then we uh, if our target is less than num the number of face then it means it's solvable right but let's say the target is seven the face is six with one dice then it's not possible to solve that means we return a zero so as you can see here so we have one dice right and if our target is zero it's not possible so we return zero and if our target is less than the number of face so the target is let's say the face is six and the target is below below or equals to six then there is one way to solve it right and otherwise we return a zero if let's say the target is seven and our face is six so it's not possible either so we return a zero right and the first one is because the target is zero um, it's not possible because our face at least produce a one right so yeah we also return zero in that case and other than that, if we have more than one dice, what we do is from our dice, like um, we try to target um, the value between one until F, until the number of face, as our left part. So we try to pick one dice to solve on the left side. Uh, one dice and the number of face will remain the same for the whole time. And I is the target. so one dice with number between one until f and then the right part um, is the d minus one so because we already use one or of our dice on our left part on our first part of the solving so the second part we reduce the number of dice by one and our target by i right and the number of way we can solve the left part and right part um, we multiply it right so that is the number of way we can solve if our first dice um, targeting certain value and the rest we do a recursion again and we multiply it right here and then um, yeah we modulo it by 10 power 9 plus 7 also the total and then once we finish all the iteration of the first dice between 1 until f then we just need to um, store it, store the DP. So DP D, D is number of dice and target equals to total that we calculated. So next time when we go, we target the DP and it's not minus one means it's already catch. Then we return that DP directly if the D and target is already calculated before because F is a constant, right? So as you can see here, the DP, I initialize it with the number of dice and number of target and yeah we look through the entire dp array and i fill it with minus one and then we solve it so this is the base problem and left part of the solving right part of the solving and we multiply it um, it doesn't have to be multiply either like because left part we always take one dice right so it's either one or zero so you can validate this also like if left is one and then you can plus the right right but yeah i decided to do a multiply so yeah that's it for the second question 
of the weekly contest 149 um, thank you for watching see you on the next weekly contest thank you